Hi all and welcome to a quick analysis of Doom Vulcan patched on the PC. It's been a long time coming but now we get to find out does it live long and prosper or get shot off into space and die with the whales. Well let's find out. First thing is I'm running this game on the GTX 970 and the brand new RX 480 from AMD running at a full 1440p, that's 2560 by 1440 to give the game a good run. This means that from the 1080p test that I've done before, you can see the game doesn't really hit a solid 60 on the OpenGL driver, but does it do any better under the Vulcan patch? Well. Yes and no, unfortunately, it does seem as if the AMD side, and it may be specific to the RX 480, does have this problem. I will be covering the game in far more detail with the Vulcan patch in other versions and CPUs and a combination of PCs, so please stay tuned for that. But for now, the results are very good indeed. It certainly does improve the quality. Here running on ultra settings at 1440, we get a game that hits a near lock solid 60 on both machines bar a couple of issues. One, as you can see, the GTX 970 does have a few dips down to like 30s at certain points, high 30s in more stressful areas. And most of this is probably down to the lighting on this open shot as you walk through the first level and obviously asynchronous shader work that's being used heavily in the engine and obviously leveraged even better here with the Vulcan update. It does also help the GPU as well as the CPU but it's mostly a CPU benefit but you do see improvements across the board. The RX 480 is also improved again running at the same ultra settings at 1440 we see an odd issue here which may be a rounding issue of the rendering state in the Vulcan renderer here but it looks like it's altered between 50 and 55 frames per second persistently. This means, as you can see, the spikes on the frame time graph, it does create mild judder throughout the game. This isn't present on the GTX 970, and I'll be intrigued to find out if this issue persists across other AMD cards and machines, and I will find out and update you guys shortly. But as it stands at the moment, aside this judder effect, which, like I say, does appear to be an issue with the driver and render state in this particular combination, it does look like it would perform at a lock-solid 60 FPS at these settings without any issues at all. And then with a GTX 970 not suffering from this, most likely from my test so far, all the dips you're seeing on the NVIDIA Macar do come down to the fact that it's the GPU struggling, certainly not the CPU and machine because they are both identical aside the GPU swap. So I'll be interested to find out if an update does come for the Vulcan patch to fix this issue that seems to be present on the RX 480 and I did do multiple tests and I couldn't resolve this issue and I'm not saying it's not present on other Nvidia cards, just not on my GTX 970 but I will be covering a 750Ti and the R270 very shortly so please stay tuned for the update. Beside all that I'll leave with a few more minutes of footage of an absolutely cracking game that just got even better thanks to Vulcan. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. You guys and girls take care, and I'll see you on the next one.